guys, welcome to Shelly's Homemade, and today we're going to be making pepper steak. Okay, so what you're going to need for your pepper steak, we're going to need two, one large and one medium green bell pepper, guys, two yellow onions, medium, some garlic paste, I have a peeled piece of ginger, uh, about this big, guys, we're going to chop that baby up. We have some a tablespoon and a half of garlic powder, teaspoon of salt, a tea, two teaspoons of um, onion powder, a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, a teaspoon of black pepper. We have our beef broth. All right, we're going to be using about a cup of that rice wine vinegar. We're going to use a half a cup of this. Ooh, I'm about to break my dishes. Um, soy sauce, a half a cup of that. A teaspoon of the powder. And of course we have our beef. And we're going to cut this into small slices. Alright. And we're going to get it into our bowl. And we're going to put cornstarch and soy sauce on it. And we're going to fry it up in this pan to get it nice and crispy. Then we're going to add our veggies to that. We're going to chop them up, add our veggies. Then we're going to make a sauce with a corn sauce slurry with a little white wine vinegar, soy sauce, this garlic paste, that powder, some <coughs> beef broth, and all of these seasonings you see right here. So we want thin slices like this of the beef. Move it closer. Move it like this. Just thin slices. You can make it big as you want, but make sure they like thin slices. So let me see if I cut it from this angle. This in. Just like this. So I'm trying to get an idea of what we're talking about. Like this. Alright. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep chopping this up and I'm going to come back. Okay, so I am back. And so let's toss these and some cornstarch and some soy sauce and get them all fried up. Take each piece and shake off the excess like that of the cornstarch. Lay them into our pan. And if you don't hear a sizzle, don't put any more in. Try to lay them in. not so close together because we want them to crisp up so try to get as many but not a lot in here as you can give them a little space try not to crowd the pan mm -hmm. 
thinly sliced this cornstarch and soy sauce is going to help tender tender these up and they're going to be tender and i got that one more in there all right so we're going to get these cooked up and i'll be back okay so just flip these over cut up our bell peppers and our onions and we're going to get them into the pan and then we're going to make the sauce we're going to put everything in the pan and then we're going to be done Everyone is having a wonderful day today. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have already finished shopping, Christmas shopping. We did everything we needed to do. Are we all having a Christmas dinner at your house? down this way and then I just came across let me show you on this onion we're gonna cut the bottoms off top from the bottom we're gonna get rid of that first layer of skin on this thing is talking to me and telling me some of them are ready to come out. Just like that guys. Oh my goodness. That beef smells amazing. So we want chunks of bell pepper. So cross, cross, just like I did that onion, and then one across. This way, this way, this way. 
and then straight down the middle, just like that. And Let's do the other one. Down the side. And I'm making, I'm putting a lot of peppers in here because it's called pepper steak. back and forth. Get your good resin going on this ginger. in here. So we don't look like a half a cup of soy sauce in here, guys. Not that much. A half a cup of rice wine vinegar. Put some 
salt on our veggies. We want them to have some flavor. Some pepper. Some garlic powder. Alright, this in here. Onion powder on there. And then we dump the rest in here. Dump this garlic in here. Dump the rest of this pepper in here. Get our garlic paste. A tablespoon of that. Get our beef broth. that much it's like a half a teaspoon just want it for the flavor everything we got going on got enough salt going on so we don't need too much about two tablespoons of cornstarch I'm just going to mix this together I own it. back up. Beautiful beef and broccoli, guys. Look at that. Beautiful beef and broccoli. Let's give it a taste. And, guys, off camera. Off camera, I had it a teaspoon of sugar to balance out that ginger because the ginger was kind of strong. So, yes, I use a tablespoon, a tablespoon of sugar, and, and that mix to balance that ginger. Let's get some rice and onion. Mmm. Mm. 
That's why I want my peppers to think all the time, guys. A little like, share, and subscribe. And make you this pepper steak and rice. Mmm. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And tell everybody Shelly's in this kitchen cooking it up, girl. And guys, and whoever, just let them know that I'm in here doing this thing. <laughs>